Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we are viewing Uggo, or I'm not sure if that's a Q or a no, so Uggo or Ugg Q, I'm not too sure, doesn't really say anywhere else. Um, I got this particular drink out of Pound Stretcher and it cost me, I think, 39p. I think I got the Macy's modelled up, but um, it wasn't expensive. It was like around 50, 40p or something like that. So, um, and they had another other flavour this in there as well. Second so, thing, guys, a 460 of the hybrid can, which I'll explain in a second. Um, so, again, like I said, the bottom half of it is plastic and the uh, top half is actually a metal topping, which is actually a really weird design. Um, it's different, I've never seen it done before. Um, but yeah, the bottom is all soft, squidgy plastic and you've got solid metal on the top, which is just weird. And you've also got a blue pouring there as well, which is a nice finish to obviously match the blue liquid in the can. And the uh, actual thing is stuck on just with like a cellophane, so you could pick that off if you want to. So this is a non-English drink. Um, looking at the bag of the can it is actually from Amsterdam. So it's an Amsterdam drink. A million different languages on the back explaining everything in detail. And we have some stuff here saying extreme sport energy, I think. Yep, and uh, we have some zap symbols. And uh, we have vitamines, B6, B5, B12, and B6. Or B3, 5, and... 3, 5, 6 and 12, yeah that's it. Uh, so looking at the bag, uh, sugar content is 4.2 grams per 100 ml. So yeah, it's actually not too bad in terms of sugar. 4.2 grams is at least half of the average for energy drinks, which is generally 10 grams. And interestingly, this is, this is the weird 350, sorry, 315 milliliter can bottle, whatever it is, um, weird version. So again, it's not a 250 ml, it's a bit bigger than a 250. It's almost like those weird Red Bull size cans you get, which are like between 300 and 350 milliliters. So uh, it said contains our favorite unusual vitamins, niacin, panathenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. And uh, apart from that, like I said, I don't know what flavor it is. It doesn't actually say, but from that color, I'm assuming it's, I guess it's kind of a take on Powerade or something. And I personally don't like Powerade. And uh, maybe some, maybe some sort of Lucozade, you know, sport energy drink rather than normal Lucozade, but we will find out. But anyways, it's nice and cold. Have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it doesn't explode over me. Ow. Yeah, that's a nice uh, finished blue pouring on the top there. That is such a weird combination. A metal top on a plastic ball. I'll stop over that. It's such a weird combination. So, it's not fizzy. No, it's not fizzy. Yeah, I thought it was fizzy. Is it fizzy? Is that... Serve... Serve cold, carbonated. Oh, I do see a couple bubbles. This is very, very lightly carbonated, very lightly done. There's barely any bubbles in there. Um, so the colour is a awesome colour. It is actually just like power, but definitely more of a deeper, darker blue. It is definitely cloudy and non-see-through, but yeah, that's quite a cool colour. Now the smell. Yep, just as I thought it smelled like. It smells very similar, but not as strong as into actually like the Powerade, the blue Powerade. It actually smells very similar to that or a kind of generic sport blue energy drink. Because you know you get all your corner shop sport energy drinks, you know, your your sport ones. And uh, it, it just tastes kind of along those lines. But for the most paid, I reckon it's just trying to uh, have a little dig at Powerade. Anyways, let's uh, taste some. Wow, it actually tastes just as nasty as Powerade. Hmm, maybe not as bad. So, to be honest guys, initial reaction on that, first thoughts is, yeah, that is pretty much like Powerade. But honestly, Powerade has got a really strong flavour, which I can't get on with. I've never been able to get on with Powerade. Um, this is, I'd say, more of a... Let's put it this way. If we've done a blind taste test and we put this against Powerade, it would be interesting. I'll say that. The results will not be easy because I don't know a lot of people... Well, I pretty much don't know anyone which drinks Powerade on a daily basis or buys Powerade. You know what I mean? It's either the LucasAid Sport drinks or, you know, any other normal energy drink. Um, so I reckon a lot of blind blind taste test people would actually struggle to tell the difference in this. That's uh, probably how similar it is in a blind taste test. Um, but honestly, I mean, the last time I had a blue Powerade was, oh God, I think ages ago, like a long time ago. 
and I think last year sometime, I think. And um, it was definitely a lot more stronger in terms of Powerade's formula. This is definitely more toned down in that sense. But the flavour itself, like I said, is pretty much identical to Powerade. Now, I know the Powerade Blue, I can't remember what it's got on it off the top of my head. But I'm kind of getting a like a blueberry type kind of berry vibe towards it. Definitely a berry vibe. Um, not because generally the colour's blue, and I'm after saying it's blueberries. But... It's generally feeling that way, like you know, it doesn't taste of strawberries or raspberries or any red berries. It definitely tastes more towards the darker berries of the uh, spectrum and uh, definitely on the blueberry-ish side. But it does just have that weird. And I always find this with any with any sport energy drink, and I know I do that, but it's because sport energy drinks and energy drinks are totally different. You've got Monster, Relentless Red Bull, as we know, and then you've got all of that Lucasade sport. They're, they're isotonic stuff, and then the parrots, and I'm not keen on any of them. They all taste just, just weird. They have a weird taste to them. You know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it. And this has got that same weird taste. I mean, it, to be fair, it does say extreme sport energy, as in it is a sport energy drink rather than a normal energy drink. So it does make sense that it does taste very similar to Powerade on a, or along those lines. I mean, heck, I don't even know. I don't even know who owns Powerade. I don't know if it's Coke or whatever. I have no idea. Um, they might be out of the same factory, they might be out of this, you have no idea at the end of the day, do you? But um, nevertheless, it's not amazing and it's not nasty. It's kind of just, right, okay, it's in the middle, it's very similar to Powerade, there we go. And again, because it's lower on sugar, it isn't like, you know, really sweet and, you know, like really kicking in terms of sweet, which is nice. And uh, again... You know, the flavour, whatever flavour it is, it makes a little bit of blueberry mixed in with its own sport formula. You know, it doesn't taste chemically or artificially or anything like that. It is a natural flavour, kind of, or whatever it is. That's what it does taste like. But, um, yeah, overall, interesting drink. Very similar to Powerade. Hmm. Don't know whether I'll finish the rest of that. Obviously, I can't get on with sport drinks, so I think I'll leave that. But, um... Yep, I'll give that in the middle, guys, because, you know, 50-50, so there we go, but hey, something different. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.